Welcome to our video, The Basics of ArcGIS Pro from Start to Export. This is a very basic introduction to ArcGIS Pro and some of its inner workings. What I'm hoping to do is set you up to understanding some of the things that are really easy to miss, especially as a first-timer. Just those things that seem really obvious, but if you're not told about them, you can have some issues completing labs or following instructions. And that will include some stuff about GIS data accessibility, program interface, map navigation, data manipulation, and layout export. This is a really simple lab to follow, I hope, and we'll be producing a really simple map, including a base map and some feature classes focusing on Columbia College campus. And the output is a completed layout, and this type of layout is generally required with all the trimmings either as a standalone output or to be embedded in lab reports throughout sem the semester. I'm going to be splitting this video into three parts. Part one is our introduction to the behind the scenes need to know. Part two is basic data manipulation. And part three should complete the cycle by producing a decent layout as shown before. So getting started. Part one, we'll be covering file setup, JS data compression and decompression, starting up a new project and map template, and the basics of the interface. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is file setup. The reason why file setup is so important is because you need to have something for easy retrieval, good organization, and it will be there when you require any of the files from future use. So you need to pick a place to save your files where you will easily find it. Some people use the desktop, which is easy to use, but it gets crowded fast, and I heard can cause problems with the program, although maybe not with the new updates. If you're concerned with your hard drive capacity, save it on a flash drive or external. So first we're going to start with a new file to save our project in. And we need to choose something descriptive, like... Um, since we're going to be working on the Columbia campus, uh, the boundary thereof, we'll go ahead and pick something like college boundary or something like that. Something that we know that we'll look at later. All right, so this is our project file. Within our project file, we need three other files, and those will be um, original, working, And final. This is uh, one of the optimal um, file saving setups. It allows you to know where all your stuff is at. We're going to save all of our original data in the original folder, our working data in the working fo folder, and any outputs that we get in our final folder. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start discussing the way that GIS files and data tend to be contained, which is zipped. Usually you need to compress and decompress any GIS data in order to access it in the program. And the reason why you compress it is because there's a lot of different files in each folder that has to be put together and contained together in order for the program to use it. For the ease of movement and sharing, it has to be compressed. But in order for the program to utilize it, it will have to be decompressed. So we will need a program like 7-Zip. The 7-Zip download is one of the easiest ways to use this. I don't know what other programs are out there because I haven't really used those. But this is the one that I use. And you just click download and it will go right down onto your computer. And then, um, when we have to download our information, we'll download that into our original folder, which you see here, and now it is a 7-zip file. So what we're going to do is right-click that 7-zip file, and we should have the program operating already and almost immediately after you install it. Okay, so now hopefully you've gotten ArcGIS Pro downloaded. It's one of the first things that need to be done on week one of any semester or uh, summer process. So now we are going to go ahead and do the fun stuff, which is starting with a new bl blank template. Um, we are going to start with the map template. The rest of them are kind of interesting. The global scene and local scene, those are both 3D, and the computer has a really hard time running it, so right now we're definitely going to stick to two dimensions. All right, so we want to make sure we name our project, again, something descriptive. Uh, Columbia College is what I'm going to name mine. 
Alright, and so this is vitally necessary. So we need to make sure that we hit our browsing button so we can save it into our file template that we've already established. Um, so uh, the big issue is the fact that this is part of the reason why you always have to put your files someplace where you're going to be able to find it. Uh, as you can tell, I have a tendency to not do it myself everything kind of is in a different spot. Okay, so here we have our project trifecta folder right here. Now we're going to be working in working, so we want to make sure this is being saved into working. Alright, so and then you can see that we have this little check right here that means it's going to produce a new folder for this project. So inside of working is going to be another folder that contains all the ArcGIS uh, conglomerate. Alright, so now we are going to start our new ArcGIS Pro map. Okay, so the next bit part of this is the basics of interface. This section is just sort of need to know info. And what you'll need to know is the main map view. This is where your map is visible. And you can see what you've added to your map and it's indicative of what you have to work out with. With a caveat concerning coordinate systems. Uh, which is probably not super important right now. And then we have the table of contents. This is where you can see everything that you've added to your map and whether it's turned on or not. The catalog, that's where you see all your files as they're saved in the computer. It's an important reminder, anything you do to the catalog will be done to your files. So if you delete a file on the catalog, it's gone from your computer. The ribbon, which is pretty much everything you need in order to interact with your map, is up there, except for the geoprocessing tools pane. And so our last one is the geoprocessing tools pane slash search bar. This is where you find your tools that you need to analyze your data. Okay, now you can see from the image what I was talking about. Number one is the map viewer. It's in the center of your screen. Uh, the table of contents is to the left of the screen and that's where you see all the stuff right now uh, and you see my image there's not a whole lot on there and to the right you have your catalog pane and on the top is the ribbon and above the ribbon is the menu and it's important to distinguish between those two because they have different forms of saving now you will notice that the geoprocessing tools pane is missing from this image and a lot of times when ArcGIS Pro pops up a new map you will not see the, the geoprocessing tools pane because it hasn't been activated so that's the next thing we're going to do is activate the geoprocessing tools pane to put the geoprocessing tools pane on is actually super easy we just go to analysis on the ribbon we click that top tab and then we hit tools so that means this will pop up right here. And so if you can tell that the thumbtack is pushed downward, that means that the geoprocessing tools pane is now there to stay. And every time you open the program and close the program, he will be there and you won't have to go looking for him. And so you can find any tool you need through the search bar. And throughout the semester, you'll probably be using a fair few of those. And then if you want to get back to your catalog, which is really important in order for you to, to see what you're adding and what you don't want to add, you just click that tab. Done. Now they both sit in the same spot.